Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wake Up in the Word. Hey, thanks for joining me this morning. Hump day in the middle of the week here in January 2023. Thanks for joining me. Hey, rev up your engines and let's get started as we wake up in the Word. Hey, I missed yesterday. We had some issues up here in Chesney, South Carolina. Our internet provider was down and our cell provider, Verizon, could we couldn't get a decent signal with them either. We just couldn't produce a video. thought after I got to the office we could maybe do one from there, but I had such a busy work day ahead, never could set aside the time, so we just missed yesterday. Thanks for some of you that were calling and asking, wondering where everything was. <laughs> Miss Christine, we are excited to be back in your home this morning, okay? So anyhow, as we get back to our wonderful pictures of praise and worship and worship leaders that have had an impact on us through the years, we're going to go back to Revelation chapter 21 this morning, talk about some great gospel music that's had an impact on our lives, and in particular, a couple that had a great deal to do with our ministry while we were in Winsboro, South Carolina. So hold your horses, let's get ready to go. I want to give a little bit of a tribute and glory to God this morning to Donnie and Elaine Smith. You know, our ministry in Winsboro could be broken down into two distinct eras. And this is what happened to most everyone that was around in a church in the year 2020. There's the before COVID ministry and the after COVID ministry, however many years that might have been for you. Well, before that time, we were able to add Donnie Smith to our repertoire of leadership at First Baptist Winsboro, who came on after a wonderful long career serving and worshiping and uh, leading worship in churches all across the Midlands of South Carolina. And Donnie and Elaine came to be with us and blessed us to no end during a very special time in the life of our church. During those times, not only did he help us with our our choir, our musicals, but something else that was very important to us in the day. We had a joint worship service with a predominantly African-American church, the St. Mark Baptist Church in Fairfield County. And we have great, wonderful friends at St. Mark to this day because of that. These were some services started by our previous pastor, Mark Chapman, and they kept going right up until they got shut down because of the epidemic. And we would enjoy those times of worship together. And, and in them, Donnie would sometimes, when we were providing the music, be able to uh, sit at the piano and just lead us in some great gospel songs. And one of the artists that was quite often featured in our singing, not only in our regular worship services, but when we would meet with St. Mark, was Andre Crouch. And from many passages of scripture, Andre led us in gospel music. He had a tremendous impact on my life even going back to the very first time that I heard him. Folks, it was on a eight-track tape that I had purchased with an assortment of gospel songs on it. And for the first time, I heard the song, Through It All, by Andre Crouch. Touched my heart and my life. I would sing it many times through my ministry and lead it as well as integrate it into some of our worship services. Yes, that old eight track slipped into the player of the 64 Ford would ring out with those words, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus, I've learned to trust in God. Now, Andre Crouch was a great minister because he was also an ordained uh, preacher with the Church of God in Christ, but he led with his group called the Disciples, uh, led gospel singing from the early 60s on until he passed back in 2015, never putting down the mantle of singing great gospel music. And many of the songs that he authored and, uh, and performed are some of those that are staples within our hymn books and our chorus singing to this day. Songs like, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power, Take Me Back, of course, through it all. And if you want to watch some great videos of Andre Crouch and his music, they're all over YouTube and Amazon Music and the places where you can pick those things up. Look for that 
particular video, a favorite of mine, where he's singing through it all at the Billy Graham Crusade in Mexico in 1975. Yeah, that'll bless your heart. But today we want to focus on a song that we used to sing an awful lot at Winsboro First Baptist Church. Soon and very soon. Some very simple words, and they were inspired as Andre Crouch put them down, inspired by a passage of scripture we were looking at not too long ago as we were going through Revelation. In Revelation chapter 21, beginning in verse 3, it says, Then I heard a loud voice from the throne, Look, God's dwelling is with humanity, and he will live with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And what's the first thing he does in verse 4? He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will be no more because the previous things have passed away. It's from that passage of scripture that Andre Crouch had the inspiration for some very simple words, simple lyrics, some of which have been bounced around in, in other songs with other authors before, but we know it as soon and very soon which says basically, soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. No more crying there, we're going to see the king. No more crying there, we're going to see the king. No more crying there, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, we're going to see the king. I think it's a beautiful promise. We still not only have that promise in front of us, but we can use the words of the great gospel writer, Andre Crouch, to echo them across our congregations as it has for this entire generation. And you will find that regardless of whatever denominational tag you may be worshiping under, that somewhere in there you'll be singing some Andre Crouch songs. Check out your hymn book. It really doesn't matter if you're Assembly of God, you're Baptist, if you're Methodist, whatever. Andre Crouch is in there blessing us even to this day while he, absent from this body, is at home with the Lord. Well, hey, thanks for spending some time with me this morning. Folks, in the words of the song, soon and very soon. We're going to see the King. God bless you. We'll see you again right here tomorrow when we wake up in God's Word.